Today, I will be going up against my arch nemesis, the Blood of the Dead Gauntlet. I've never beat it before, and honestly, I'm just really hoping that today will be the day. If you're not familiar with how this works, there's 30 rounds, and on each round, there's a different challenge. If you fail the challenge, or if you take it down, you get a skull against you. If you get three skulls, it's game over. All right, here we go. We are on Blood of the Dead, and we're gonna be trying to do the gauntlet. I don't think I've ever got past, like, round 15 on this gauntlet. It is not very easy. But then again, I've never, like, like actually prepared myself to do it okay so the first challenge is don't let zombies get into Richtofen's lab which basically just means that i have to kill them before they come into the window i think some spawn up there i don't know this is actually kind of sketchy like i'm a little bit afraid that a zombie's gonna spawn down there okay wait let me just come up here i'm pretty sure they're all up here yeah, there we go. Bro, I was so scared a zombie was gonna like sneak his way in while I had my guard down. Players can only attack while jumping. That's a relatively easy one. I know that this gets exceptionally difficult. It is one of the harder gauntlets and there is a bunch of little things that make this actually pretty difficult. Um, It does start off relatively easy though. Like killing while jumping, definitely not something to complain about. All right, um, right, let's head down here and start filling up the dog, I believe. Oh, movement controls are reversed. Okay, so, oh dude, I hate dude i cannot i i hate this doing this like literally gives me a headache oh my god oh my god oh my oh my god i hate this shit i think my plan of action here is just to sit in the corner and use wraith fires to kill zombies if i try to do any more than this i'm good, literally gonna give myself a headache it's weird to think about that there are some people that play inverted controls if you're watching this video and you play inverted controls can i just question your sanity like what is wrong with you like what actually is going on then again i'm like 99 sure nobody would ever play inverted controls while using a mouse and keyboard like that doesn't even begin to make sense okay weapons must be reloaded after every shot if ammo is available okay oh i can't melee either okay that's fine though oh actually the strife is not going to be that fun to use like this oh especially if i can't aim oh my god i do have all the challenges pulled up next to me but it's kind of hard to like look at it while you're playing okay there the dog is done we're ready to go now i just gotta figure out how to actually kill the zombies to get my way through this round this is chill at least all the zombies are walking it's not the biggest deal in the world to just occasionally click their head i could always make the investment in a mog but i don't think that it's worth it i'll just grind it out and take like five minutes to actually get through this round it's no big deal let me head down here and i guess that i will turn the power on i would go and hit the box right now but i don't think that there's a reason for me to do that i think that would genuinely be a bad thing you know what you know, I just realized I can only use the- Oh, I, I messed up. I messed up really bad. Use the swordfish only. I messed up really bad. I didn't want to end the round there. I did not- I can't- I- I'm so screwed. The swordfish is all the way over there. I was going to buy the mug so I can get across the catwalk, but then I accidentally like killed a lot of zombie. This is really, really bad. I honestly don't know how I'm going to be able to do this, to be honest. All right, I'm gonna just- I'm gonna just go for it. And then my backup plan is to use it anywhere but here no dude come on let me through please please okay i'm abha oh this is <laughs> i was hoping that i would randomly get lucky and like teleport near there all right here we go here we go if i don't make it this time i'm probably just gonna have to reset all right uh wait for the zombie wait for the zombie excuse me oh get past this zombie oh i'm actually gonna do it i got it we got it boys okay now i actually have to make my way across with the swordfish this is not going to be easy oh no oh my god oh my god i'm alive oh my god i am happy i'm happy that i managed to do that like that was not easy oh i guess i should be killing these zombies up by the dog oh let me grab that this challenge is stressful like at no point is it going to get any easier either die oh my god i'm alive i'm alive i thought i was down i thought i was down okay ow ow die please okay doggy's dead all right i'm gonna make my way down to the bottom and hopefully get the second power on this round i feel like as soon as i can like get fully set up and just get the map open the better also the quicker i can get like my shield built honestly honestly that's the most important thing right now all right Let's go turn this power on. Although, unfortunately, all I have is a swordfish to get my way out of here. All right, Brutus. Just, I know all I have is a swordfish. And I know the swordfish isn't exactly scary. But I need you to get out of my life. And I need you to die. 
All right, there we go. All right, like I said, the quicker I can get the shield, the better. So literally, I just made a straight beeline up here just so I can get the shield guy. And then I might as well open up this and get the third dog. And then after this, I should be able to get the Hell's Retriever as soon as I fill this dog out. All right, all weapons replace. All we have is the SDM and we can only ADS. So if there's two things that don't go together, it's scoped guns and Call of Duty zombies. Shouldn't be too bad because we did happen to get a uh, Hellhound round this round. So honestly, if you're going to make me scope in on any round, um, I'm glad that it is a Hellhound round. I just wish that these guys counted for, for uh, souls. Next challenge, kill zombies with traps only. Believe that the safest trap and the most reliable trap is the acid trap. I'm glad that they made it so traps don't cost points on this round because honestly, if they didn't, this would be like an absolutely miserable challenge. All right, I got my train going. I guess we'll just, you know, do the old fashioned mob of the dead trap two insta kills what is this look at this what's the chances of that you want to buy the vapor that seems like a reliable assault rifle considering that the only gun i had was the stupid sdm all right please tell me that's the end of the round excuse me zombie where art thou zombie oh now you want to come walking in now you want to actually play the game all right it's fine we'll just we'll just bring him back over here pretty sure you can't like slide through this without dying i might be wrong okay ads causes damage oh that's a not something i want to do is it luckily i have the trusty bayonet on the vapor here to just kill zombies the easy way brutus 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 does not like take any damage to the stupid katana, does he? Like he's just he just he just eats that shit. Like he just eats it for breakfast. There we go. Okay, the doggy is done. Uh, I don't think I need souls for anything, but I think it's just blood of the dead instinct to just like try to get some souls. I know I'm gonna have to activate pack a punch, so I know I'll, I'll at least need like one shield blast. You know what? I am gonna need a couple anyways. So yeah. Okay, one eight one is my spoon number. And then I need to come through here to pick up my hell's retriever. There we go. Open up this. I'm gonna need this charge. Okay. I need to shield blast this. That's the unfortunate thing about these gauntlets is like you do have to like get all of the stuff on the map. So so it's not like you could just focus on the challenges. You also have to like you you have to get the house retriever. You have to get the uh, the spoon. I'm honestly just glad that they don't make you get things like the house redeemer or like uh, the golden spork or I guess this blood of the dead one specifically doesn't make you like a bunch of extra stuff. Okay, so this challenge is just have the retriever by the end of the round, which we already do, meaning I can use this round to continue to get myself set up you know blood of the dead is a standalone map it, it, it's it's growing on me it grows on me more and more every time i play it there's something about it like it's just filled to the brim with content even though most of the content on the map is like you know it's extra it makes you go like way 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 out of your way just to get set up but i'd rather have content that's too like complicated to get than to have no content at all you know i guess that i might as well just like get the blunder gut this round right like there's no reason not to let me grab that skull there as far as mystery box things i can't think of a single gun that i actually would want from the mystery box like i don't have oh that is a horrible anywhere but here like i don't have phd slider on so i pretty much don't want the helium salvo i think i'm just comfortable with my my trusty vapor and the bayonet and a blunder guy that seems like a pretty decent setup and then later on i'm obviously going to need other guns for challenges so i could always just trade the vapor out for that okay this should be my fourth skull and then skull number five boom Get. All right, now I'll end the round. That's the thing about these gauntlets. If you know what the later challenges are, then you can just like get set up when you only have like one zombie left. You know what I mean? But it only becomes a problem when you like don't know what's coming next. Like I know that I'm going to need this spoon for later. So that's why I, you know, went out of my way to get it. But if I didn't know that, I would like legitimately just be like shit out of luck. You know, I'll well get my little charges up here. We got to suck some zombies off. Really, really, really get in there and suck them dry. And then... Oh, my shield broke. That's very unfortunate. Unlucky. Oh, I'm done. Dude, dude, it, what, I, I, I was spamming my specialist. I'm literally spamming. I'm spamming mouse button and it didn't pull out my specialist. That's what you call a very unnecessary down that honestly, I'm kind of embarrassed by. But it's okay. We're going to keep it going. At least now I can actually get pack a punch going on this round, I guess. I, I, I guess there's a bright spot to be had here. Just unfortunate that it had to come at the expense of one of my skulls. No, I'm 10 points short. <laughs> literally 10 points. All right, this next one, basically everything goes 
was black and white. So basically everything is just black and white and like everything is like sped up. Like the zombies are sped up. I'm sped up. It's just, it's just, it's just crazy though. It's just crazy, you know? Also, I don't have a UI, so it's kind of hard to tell like if my specialist is ready and stuff like that. I guess we just got to resort to good old fashioned training the zombies, but in black and white. Do you think that this gauntlet step is like a callback to the original Mob of the Dead and how at the end of the Easter egg, everything got black and white? I mean, it probably is, right? All right, uh, get at least 20 spoon kills by round end. This is why I got my spoon earlier. I feel like this might be a good time to actually forge the mag magma gat, although it's kind of sketchy in here if I have to get a bunch of melee kills. Yeah, actually, this is not the time. This th this round is not the round to go for it, I don't think. I just gotta, I just gotta get these spoon kills. All right, you know what? I got a couple zombies left. I'm going for it now. Oh, oh, wait, no, I can't use my spoon with this. I guess I could use the retriever. That's fine. What is that? Please be... Oh, I was hoping that'd be an insta-kill. That would have been so clutch. Okay, sprint to avoid point drain. I'm already pretty low on points, so I'm not really that that worried if I lose any points, but it would be nice to come out of this with at least some points. The main thing I'm concerned about is not going down while trying to fill this magma get up. That's my top priority, especially now that there's a Brutus. There is a Brutus. Oh, no. Ow. Brutus? Like literally, literally no, like just, just no, just, just no. Come on, please, please go away. Go away. Come again another day. Oh, I'm, I'm not even gonna be, I can't even take him out. Ow. Oh my God. Ow. Owie. I, I don't have a shield blast. Oh no. Max. That's not useful. Oh my god, I'm alive. 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 I don't know how I'm alive, but I'm alive. Please give me this. What is my next challenge? Possess a fully path weapon. Okay. 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 I can chill. I can relax a little bit. Oh my god, dude. That was unbelievably stressful. Like, I put the entire katana, my entire, like, length of the katana, I just spent swinging on Brutus, and he still didn't die. It's all good, though. I'm just glad that I lived to tell the tale. Give me my magma get, please. I'm scared for my life right now right now oh god everything that's happening right now is just sketchy as hell okay but now my main concern is not ending the round by accident before i get my fully oh wait does the oh the blood i just realized the blunder gat or at least the magma gat counts as the fully upgraded gun well that's convenient nice now i don't even have to worry about it a couple rounds from now i'm going to need the mazu so i'm gonna buy it now i don't even mind the mazu is a pretty decent gun even if i didn't need it for a challenge so it's not that big of a deal might as well put a pack a punch on it as well uh no reason not to i guess round 15 we're basically halfway there defend the powerhouse i'm pretty sure that this is the powerhouse not the other one right yeah okay i was a little bit afraid that it was going to be like the lower powerhouse like from the original mob the regular power but luckily it isn't and so i can just chill here for this round i've had some stressful ass moments during this set luckily i still only have one skull there i'm doing pretty decent i'm doing pretty good for myself i would say okay and i believe the next round is use the mazu only so basically i could just keep playing the game normally just nice easy peasy round in the cafeteria using the mazu no complaints right no complaint eh? do weapon camo challenges count while you're doing gauntlets i've been working kind of on and off to getting uh oh i'm done i'm done i'm just dead like there's no way to get out of this i don't have anywhere to be here Come on, please. Okay, okay. It's just dying wish. It's just dying wish. It's fine. It's fine. My bad. I need to focus up a little bit more. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. No big deal. No big deal. I've been slowly and slowly working towards uh, Dark Ether or whatever it's called in this game. The one I'm doing currently is the Mazu. So I don't know if it counts or if it doesn't, but I guess I'll find out sometime after this game. Next is Forge the Magma Gat during the round. And like, I'm curious. Like, I'm good, right? Because I already forged the Magma Gat. So I don't need to do it again, right? Right? Okay, so unfortunately, I just looked it up to see if it counted and apparently it doesn't count so i have to apparently reforge the magma gat but the loophole is if i build the acid trap turn it into an acid gat and then turn it back into a magma gat then it counts so which is slightly annoying 
but definitely better than like reforging the entire magma gat with a new blender gat. It's weird that the challenge is set up this way. Like, why is it during the round? Why would it not be like, you know, forge the magma gat by, by the end of the round? And if you already have the magma gat, then that should already count, in my opinion. Maybe I'm just thinking a little bit too outside the box for Treyarch, but would that not make sense? Okay, I believe the second part to this is somewhere up here. Uh, oh yeah, it's just literally sitting in the normal spot. And then the last part is right here. It's definitely not that big of a deal to build it like this. It's just like, it's sort of weird. It's sort of weird that the challenge is worded this way. Basically turn it into a vitriolic withering, which honestly, in all my times playing Blood of the Dead, this might be the second or third time I've ever built a vitriolic withering. Okay, and then just got to turn it back to a magma gad, and that should count. All right, there we go. Challenge done. You know what? I kind of want to use the vitriolic withering just for fun. I kind of want to just get quirky. Even though it's probably objectively worse, I'm going to just go for it, you know? Sometimes you just got to be a little quirky. My challenge for this round is to sacrifice two weapons of the pack of punch machine. So I got to go throw this Mazu away. Okay, of course, the pack of punch is all the way down here, which is kind of unlucky. Yo, how much damage does this do to me? Oh, that does a lot. Wait, does PhD prevent vitriolic withering damage or no? Because I know it doesn't prevent magma gat damage, but does it prevent vitriolic withering damage? Now I'm curious. Now I want to try it out. All right, all right. I got to come down here. I need to be careful though. Pack a punch this. Oh God. You know, I don't think this was the move. I don't think this acid gat was the move. Like I'm going to be completely honest with you. Okay, I'm going to grab the spitfire. Then let's just do this. I'm going to ABH out of here to play it safe. I want my magma get back. I'm sorry for ever betraying you, magma get, but I need I need it back. I need it back right now. The whole vitriolic withering thing was it, it was a big mistake. Big mistake. Big mistake. Survive the terror. I don't know what this means. I'm kind of scared. What does the terror mean? Holy shit! Holy shit! What is this shit, bro? What? Why are the zombies moving like that? Wait, do they move faster when I'm not looking at them? Is that what it is? Let me just like chill in a corner then. Like, look, I, I don't know if you can tell, but whenever I turn around, like, you can see that they're, like, moving quicker. At least you can just chill in the corner so I literally don't have to face my fears. I don't have to face the terror. What the? Why is Brutus in the ground? Hello? This dude was, like, in the in the ground. What kind of... No what What is wrong with the zombies? Like, apparently the terror is glitched out. Like, jeez. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh my god. That's literally a jump scare. Okay, round 20, defend the showers. We're in the home stretch, boys. We've got 11 more challenges to go. Every time I play Black Ops 4 Gauntlets, I have a great time. Like, honestly, this game mode is growing on me so much. Objective-based zombies, when done right, and when it's only a side mode, is fun. Like, it's just facts. It's just facts. Objective-based zombies aren't inherently bad. They're just done unbelievably horribly in Vanguard. Like, that, that's, just, that's just the truth of the matter. It's just the truth. Hell Health regeneration only works while prone. Okay, so basically what I'm hearing is if I don't take damage, this shouldn't be an issue. So I just gotta man up, grow some balls, and not take any damage whatsoever. Easy clap. Although I'm thinking about it, like doing things like accidentally damaging myself with the uh with this uh magma gat like i do like so subconsciously but i need to make sure that i'm not accidentally hurting myself or at least as little as possible considering that i have to go prone if i want to like regen that oh i took a little bit of damage oh okay okay we're cool we're cool okay i'm gonna turn the trap on i'm gonna shoot there and let's just lay down and regen health what if regular zombies work like that like you could only regen health when laying down that'd be pretty interesting points are reset to zero so i just realized i probably should have spent my points last round that's unfortunate <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there goes 23,000 points down the drain. Sort of wish I would have known that earlier, but I forgot to look at my little cheat sheet here. So, so that's my bad, but hey. Okay, so this next one, I'm a little concerned. Only kills via weapons without attachments are allowed. So hopefully I can use the blunder gat. Like, I mean, it doesn't have attachments, so I don't see why not, right? Yeah, okay, blunder gats count. So this is lit. Uh oh. Probably not try to jam my way through a door when there's literally like 20 zombies blocking it. Okay, for this next round, I think I want to stay in the cafeteria. I think this is probably the safest option. Uh, I'm debating if I'm going to come out here. I'm going to step out here. I'm going to step out. I'm doubting myself. This next round is all doors are sealed for the round. I think that this area out here is my safest bet. If I go down, I guess we'll find out. 
What? You're not gonna give me that insta kill? Did I miss? I think this is just like my trusty spot. This is like this is the trusty blood of the dead spot. Chilling in this back corner here. Dude, it would be really nice. Oh, why can't I not get this insta kill? Can you not pick up things with the Hell's Retriever in Blood of the Dead? Like, what is happening? Like, did they change it so you actually have to shield blast this first or something? Like, why? Oh, whatever. We got the insta kill eventually. This next one is defend the infirmary, but I'm genuinely kind of scared for the, what the challenge is after this one. Because the, the next challenge is going to be use the M1927 only. And the problem is I don't have it. And so I'm going to have to go all the way down there to pick it up. And then I kind of want to pack a bunch of it. But I wish I would have did all of that earlier. Okay, I need to pull this out. Um, look, look, Brutus. Brutus. Okay. The only way to take out the Brutus with the katana is right clicks. So that's what I'm learning. Back to back full powers, whatever. We take those, we win those. There we go, round 26. I got five more rounds to go. I need to go get the M1927. And I believe it spawns the same place it spawns on Mob of the Dead. I believe? I don't even know for sure. I'm just hoping. Okay, yeah, there it is. It's down there. Oh, this sucks, dude. I don't know where Pack-a-Punch is. Or am I just gonna have to do this whole round with a non-Pack-a-Punch gun? Is that what, is that what I'm realizing? Oh, dude. Like, dude, what am I supposed to do about this? Okay. This is, uh, this is, this is not good. In conclusion, I think I'm absolutely screwed. I should have got the M1927 earlier whenever I had, like, all of those points. I just literally didn't look ahead far enough on my cheat sheet. So now I'm just in an absolutely, absolutely miserable situation. Like, I need to, I need to walk as slowly as possible down the Citadel Tunnel here. Hopefully no zombies spawn in front of me while I'm rounding this corner. Okay, we're good. We're good. Just... Just don't sprint. Just as long as I don't sprint, I should be safe. Okay, okay. Let me run over here and grab it. All right. Whole round with a non-pack-a-punch gun. Can I even do this? Oh, this is not killing anything. This is not killing anything. No. Gondola. I, I, this does not feel safe. Oh, this is going to be so rough rounding this corner up here. Oh my God. This is my, this is the death of me. This is just the death of me. Like this is just it. Like, what do I do in this situation? What am I supposed to do? I don't, I don't see how I get out of this. Use the gondola. Like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do in this situation? <laughs> okay, I have the... What, dude, what, what? It just teleported me. Why is it got Bro, what, 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 what am I supposed to, what? I just missed out on so much time. That's so unfortunate. I, there's no way I get up here safely. There's no shot. No shot in the world I walk up here safely. Right, ABH. Okay, that's kind of decent ABH. I don't know. No pack a punch. Of course, no pack a punch. Why would I get lucky? Well, like, why would my RNG be decent? Dude, this gun is like actually like it does not need to be this bad, right? Like, it doesn't need to be this this bad. Like, it's not. I don't think I've killed a single zombie yet. Dude, am I crazy or is this the worst weapon in Call of Duty Zombies history? I'm out of ammo already. I gotta. I got. I gotta. I have to pack a punch. Like, it's my only option is the pack a punch. If pack a punch isn't up here, it's probably GG. Like, it's probably just game over. It's not up here. It's literally down by the citadel again this challenge here it's so simple just use a submachine gun but it's so brutal because i didn't prepare myself for it all right first things first i'm gonna grab ammo for this maybe i can slowly tickle them down like i don't even know if it's worth the risk of trying to pack a bunch i, I feel like there's no way i get in there and get out like alive like there's no shame there's no chance i don't have any anywhere but here i don't have like dying wish i think my only option is to just kill them with the unpack a bunch of weapon and just like take my time just play it slow and steady you know what i mean like it's 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 pretty much my only option and this is this is kind of working as long as i don't get myself stuck like this is this is honestly fine i just don't know why they made the tommy gun so bad on blood of the dead like it wasn't this bad on mob of the dead was it oh my god this sucks so bad give me this for the record this gun has 400 bullets i'm dead that's it I, I hate life. I hate life. I hate life so much. All right. I'm back on round 26. With this time, I actually have the M1927 pack a punch. So I can actually have a nice and easy round where I could actually kill zombies. So allow me to just use the worst gun in the history of zombies, apparently, as I try to get through this round. This should be a lot easier than like actually trying to kill zombies with a non pack a punch SMG. Also, this game, I have absolutely zero skulls right now. So it just goes to show that. 
that once you've done a gauntlet, like once you've gone all the way through, it becomes so much easier on like the second try than it is the first try. You know what I mean? Okay, I am completely out of ammo here and I don't have a retriever. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go down and get ammo. Or actually, wait, I could do it this way. Oh no, I can't chill blast it. No, that's so lame. Why can't I shield blast that? All right, it's fine. I'll just kill the zombies down here. This time I won't get myself stuck in a corner. I don't even think I've used my dying wish this game. Like this has been pretty smooth sailing up until this point. All right, this should be the end, hopefully. Last couple zombies are just like stuck over here. I've never seen that happen in my life. Okay, so all ammo is reset to zero. Luckily, I I'm right here so I can buy more ammo. But unfortunately, that means I'm out of magma get ammo. Maybe it ended up being a good thing that, uh, that I couldn't get this last round. Everything just kind of worked out in the end. All I'm saying is I will be glad to get this gauntlet over with. The sooner I can get off Blood of the Dead, the better. There we go. Should be three more rounds rounds and then we're done i'm exactly one hour into this second run okay travel through hell holes before timer expires i have absolutely no idea what that means like literally no idea uh what does this mean where do i go what, what am i doing what am i doing wait are the hell holes like the fast travel it has to be right it has to be it has to be it has to be it has to be okay let's yeah, okay, that, that, that's what it is. Okay, that should be fine. All I gotta do is like kill the zombies when I go and then just go back in. Shouldn't be that bad at all. Okay, but who plays Blood of the Dead and then calls the fast travel hell holes? Tell me what sane person actually called those things hell holes. Dude, I'm so close to the end of the round, please. No, please, end. I gotta, I gotta go, there we go. All right, two more rounds. Let's go. Survive a hellhound onslaught. Okay, that's kind of frightening. How many is an onslaught? What is the numerical amount for something to be considered an onslaught? Doesn't even seem like there's that many hellhounds happening, like, to be honest. Like, th th there's a couple. I would consider this a gaggle of hellhounds. Or maybe, you know, a small bunch. But definitely not an onslaught. Like, onslaught is a little extreme, you know? A little bit over the top. I know the high round strategy on Blood of the Dead involves this trap unfortunately i just don't know what it is like you sit in like this corner or something i don't even know for sure i'm not sure why this trap has monkey bomb effects but hey i'm not complaining a little bit op but you know what it's whatever let's do it defend the warden's house the final stand let's do it oh this is an insta kill dude i bro so you actually can't hell's retriever things inside the cages on blood of the dead i've never realized that in my life either way i need a max ammo not an insta kill okay max ammo max ammo no that's not what i want i mean it's it's useful don't get me wrong but 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 if i don't pass this it's 100 because i run out of ammo and like not anything else it's okay i just need to kill as many zombies as possible right now while the insta kills up and then hopefully i can use my specialist if things if if push comes to shove and then the fact that i only have like 11 blender get oh my god oh my god that's huge that's absolutely massive get off of me dude i hate you warden like no one likes you you're not cool you think you're a cool cat but you're not like on a scale of one to ten you're like a four like you're not even that snazzy dude this is chaotic as shit okay let's put the specialist away before i run out of it completely oh we're done let's go <laughs> that was fun that was a lot of fun unfortunately it took me two tries but it definitely was a lot of fun thank you guys for watching